This podcast has been paid for by the Major World Order. Welcome to another Major World Order unboxing. I'm Billy Walter Peck. What's your name? This is... This is Logan. He is going to be my helper today. Because he just had to be in the video. So, we are going to unbox Elvira from Living Dead Dolls and Mezco. Uh, we'll just start opening this right away. Uh huh. We'll just put this right here for now. Uh huh. You want to open this? Uh huh. Uh huh. There we go. Can you pull her out? There we go. All right. Can you show her to the camera? Is she super cool? Uh huh. Yeah. Is she spooky? Uh -huh. oh. Yeah, all right, so uh -huh. as Logan has figured out, uh, the thing that's been going on with a lot of uh, toys and things of that nature as of late, they are getting this plastic treatment, uh, maybe to help with the um, fabric dyeing the skin, or maybe getting scratched up in the plastic box. Can you go throw those away? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Don't. <laughs> I thought you were going to hit the button. Thank you. So this is Elvira, as I said, from Mezco and Living Dead Dolls. So I'm going to do a little review of it. Um, last one of these I did was for Gomez and Morticia Adams. So... Um, this is this kind of works. Elvira, Morticia, similar kind of vibes. Uh huh. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I think I think a lot more work went in. Are you just gonna try and repeat after me everything? Uh huh. Uh huh. I think a lot more work went into her than the Morticia. I mean, Morticia, like you know, kind of basic, but um, you know that's okay. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, you know, long black dress, uh, tapered off at the bottom, you know, of the, the bottom of the dress and the sleeves, um, pale skin, painted fingernails, um, her, her makeup and stuff is, no, watch out, buddy. Her makeup and everything is, uh... You know, again, basic, you know, little blush on the side, that little, uh, what do they call those beauty marks? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Baby. What, what you want to see? Uh-huh. Yeah. Is that cool? Yeah. She, yeah, she's got makeup. Yeah. Red lipstick, uh, you know, the eyeshadow and all that, and her signature poofy hair, which actually, no. You want to, all right, that. Careful though. Uh -huh. um, it feels like there might be like a sponge or something in it, um, but I don't want to mess with it too much because I don't want it to like come undone or something. Um, and uh, cool thing, I, 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 is that like a, I, I don't know women's terms. Is it a corset, a girdle? Uh, hey, I'm sure. I'm sure some of the fans think you're cute, but you got to get out of the way. We're showing this off. Um, <laughs> the cool thing is she has her signature dagger that uh, just goes in really nicely. Uh, yes, she has her uh, assets. <laughs> um her her legs are painted um a darker color 
uh, to represent the nylon. She has the uh, high heels. Um, you know, long hair. I don't know. Um, not a ton to say about it other than, like, they really, you know, they captured it. <laughs> hey, come sit down. Shh. Um, <laughs> you're, you're silly, you know that. Anyway, um, <laughs> um, you're just going to keep repeating after me, aren't you? Uh-huh. So, yeah, uh, if, if this is your first time seeing, like, one of these Living Dead doll reviews that I've done, um, they're, they're dolls. Uh, you know, they're, they're based off of, you know, like, I suppose, like, not baby dolls, but, you know, like, fashion dolls or whatever, something like that. But, uh, so they are meant to be basic. They're, they're articulated but just enough to move around they're pretty much just meant to stay like this i suppose you can you could sit them down um but uh yeah they're just supposed to be like this and then if you are a person that likes to keep things in box watch out bud um they added you know the spider webbing around it um the window is a casket shape and uh you know ldd presents elvira mistress of the dark um oh you want to show the the top then we show the sides yeah there's that side uh looks like it's the same picture same pose on both sides oh and then there's the back uh usually they have like a like a read or you know log line or whatever that you know, it describes who the character is and, and whatnot, but they don't have that with this, which actually is a little weird to me. Um, hey, yes, her her head moves. Yeah, but be careful. Hey, don't mess with the hair. Watch out. Uh, so, um, there you go. Living Dead Dolls. Logan blocking the camera. <laughs> trying to be the star of the show, I guess. Um, that's okay. This is for the major community for the most part, and uh, we're all we're all a family. Oh, there, yep. There's the bottom, uh, basic, very basic. <clears throat> um, so, if you are not part of the major wrestling figure podcast community, and go. go. Um, you're just a fan of <laughs> Living Dead Dolls or Mezco products and you're just, you just so happen to be finding this. Um, we are a podcast based off the uh, Major Wrestling Figure podcast community, as I've said. <laughs> and um, we focus on a lot of, uh, you know, that community. Make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram all at Major World Order and if you are interested at all in listening to fans of wrestling and collecting uh, talk on a podcast check out anchor.fm slash Major World Order this is the bubble wrap that that Elvira came in they actually put you know their their Mezco uh, logo on it and uh, anyway again thanks for checking out this review. That's all I got. The kid is <laughs> popping bubbles, having fun, wanted to be part of it. Thanks for letting him hang out with all of you. Have a good one. <laughs>